check out another video for you guys today. Once again, happy hump day. So we're gonna check out Dying Light 2. Welcome to Villador gameplay trailer. This is from Gamescom 2021. Was this was was yesterday the last day? I don't know. I don't know how Gamescom work. Um let's check it out though. Cause I wanna play this game. It's been a minute. We're gonna talk about it later. In about a three, two. Hello, mm. I am Timon Smektawa, Dying Light 2 lead game designer, and this is David Lubrika, animation director. Hi. We can't wait until December 7th to finally give you Dying Light 2 He could be Nico Bellic in a movie. Tell me I'm lying. working on really hard for the last few years. We are hoping the gameplay video you're about to watch will give you a foretaste of parkour and combat systems waiting for you in the game. Even before this video, and I wanted to play it, so y'all ain't got to worry about city. me fighting our way through its brutal and dangerous streets. Though, as you will see in a moment, there are plenty of things you can use to your advantage. So watch closely, look for special combat and park removes, and check out how with just a bit of creativity, you can combine the two. Ready? Let's go. Sometimes I wonder what this city looked like before all this. Why he sound like Crane? Probably like many others. I thought Crane was dead. People had their ambitions, plans, lives. Now it's all gone. The virus started it, but it was the people who made the world. Not the virus. This city, Villador. They tell me they had a vision. I said it right too, Villador. They had hope, but soon, one vision broke into many different ones. Oh, oh, he did. He got off the ground too, but too slow. Instead of fighting together, that's a big bitch. Each other. I like how you can run on the walls and shit. I like that already. Like a little bird, met a broken leg, hope died. Oh shit! Oh goddamn! And it all falls down. <laughs> but Ooh. I can't let that happen. Hold on. Okay, Tarzan. Not yet. Ooh. Oh. I need the secrets the city holds. Work. Hey, still some rats here. Uh, oh, we can real I athletic with it in this game. Oh my god. You're doing great so far. Ooh. Yeah, you slide like that. I have to make a difference. <laughs> Let's check and see. That watchdog's ass mask he got on. They say the great change shit. is a series of small gestures. I like that. Oh. How about this series? Come on in. Get your ass back. Ooh. Fuck him up. Get your ass back, bitch. I can't wait to fight in this game. Oh, we gonna fuck it up. Ooh. He better be dead after that shit. Get your ass. Oh, his head is gone. We'll see about that. Well, that was an exciting trip, wasn't it, Timon? It was, though. Did you notice those bandits in medieval-like armor passing by skyscrapers, banks, and large billboards? That's what we call a modern dark age. Banks, when you... And it's a very unique design, one very important for the plot of Dying Light 2. But there's another thing that stood out to me, all those parkour moves that you and your team has put so much effort into. Well, all you need is a few thousand of animations, cooperation with professional traces, mock-up sessions, and invaluable help from David Bell, whose face and moves player will see in the game, by the way. No, oh, yes, right. And we've got twice the number of parkour moves compared to the first game, and we are showing some of them in this trailer. The vault kicks being the most important to me personally. It brings a whole new fighting style into the game. The player can stagger an enemy and use them to perform further attacks. For example, by rebounding from their bodies, jumping of them onto other foes, and so on. I think we captured the movement really well. Yeah, it's it. quite simple for the players to perform. I can't wait for them to try it out and tell for themselves how much they loved it. 
it's definitely going to be useful. The city's buildings are higher than anything we have done before, improving its verticality. Players will need to find a way to reach those tall skyscrapers and other challenging spots too. Then it's good we scattered some helpers around, like a paraglider which can support players in both parkouring and combat. Exactly, and it's gonna do great, especially in fights against humans, which are more frequent and important than in Dying Light 1. It's been over 20 years since the events from the first game, so people adjusted. They are much see, bolder on. now, at least during the day. And they are more vicious too. <laughs> and I think that's a great summary of this discussion. Pre-order Dying Light 2 and explore its vast, complex world on December 7th. Thanks, David. Thank oh, you. Oh, Lord, this is seven. Damn. Wait, is it just for Xbox? No, hold on. I could have sworn I saw that shit for um, PlayStation. They changed their mind or something? Anyway, well, I mean, I got an Xbox One, so I mean, it's not like it's not like I can't buy it, so. You know. Well, y'all, I'm ready, okay? It's been quite a few years since Dying Light 1 came out, okay? And then the DLC came out. And as you know by the end, spoiler alert a little bit. <laughs> but you know, most of y'all I'm sure played this game. Crane, you know, he turned into one of the uh, the night zombies or whatever you call them. You know, the big ass ones that come after you at night and you need that UV light to, for them to leave you the fuck alone. Cause if not, you're fucked. Like when they made the first appearance, like when Crane first saw one of them motherfuckers, you know, if you played the first one, that was the scariest shit I've ever seen, like for me. And this is just a damn game, like, but it looks so terrifying. The eyes, the mouth, and then the fact that it comes out at night is even worse. So you gotta hurry up and run your ass. And if they hear you, it's time to go. Cause like some music gonna come on. And all I'm saying is just get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Otherwise you're dead. You're fucking dead. You're fu fucking dead. And then I was I, like, I felt bad because, like I said, Crane, he died, pretty much. He turned into one of them night walking things in the second, well, no, not in the second, the DLC. He let out a big roar. I'm like, damn, Crane is gone, bruh. Crane is gone. So they saying, as far as in that universe, it's been 20 years. I'm like, okay, damn, it's been a minute. So we got, I forgot the new character's name. We gonna find all that out when the game come out. So I'm gonna go ahead and pre-order that probably, maybe today. I gotta see what I'm working with, but yeah, I'm excited. This one looks like it's gonna be way more aggressive. The zombies, especially like the big ones, you know, but I can't wait to fight in this game. This looks like it's gonna be off the chain. I'm here for it, I cannot wait. With that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, comment below your thoughts. I must ask, as far as Dying Light is concerned, what was like some of your favorite, what should I say, like favorite moments or like, just like, what was your favorite thing to do in the first Dying Light? Like, whether it be from the missions, uh, playing online, uh, like the weapons, the characters, let me know in the comments section. And what are you guys looking forward to um, in Dying Light 2? Like, what you think, what do you guys think is gonna be better in the second one, more, more so than the first one? For me, I definitely say like, the movement for sure because like this new character dude is doing every damn thing he running on walls he like running on little thin shit he over here vine swinging he doing some tarzan shit like this like they they really got on the athletic olympic shit okay and i'm here for it i can't wait to run off a wall and jump and swing through a vine and then kick somebody in the face i cannot wait to fight with somebody like i'm gonna be ready I'm gonna be countering, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't gonna hit me with that shit. I'm gonna knock your head off. That's it. You can't tell me nothing. But yeah, if there's anything else I can react to for you guys, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit that subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, hit that notification bell so you guys know it'll be uploaded. And I'll see you guys later on for American Horror Story Season 10, baby! Double feature. Are y'all ready? I'm excited, okay? I'll see y'all then. Stay Lorraine, and I'm out.